At first glance, the universe seems simple, doesn't it? The sun rises, planets orbit, and stars silently shine. But here's a question. What stands at the center of all this motion? The sun? Or is it you? About 2,000 years ago, a man answered this question. He said, the earth is the center of the universe. Humanity is at the heart of everything. But who was this man? What was his reasoning? How did he manage to map the entire cosmos, yet get it all backwards? His ideas might confuse you, yet for 1,400 years, people believed him. His name, Claudius Ptolemy. But were his claims true? Let's explore one of the oldest mysteries of the universe together. Fact one, who was Ptolemy? Claudius Ptolemy was a Greco-Egyptian scholar who lived between 100 and 170 AD. He worked in the city of Alexandria and conducted his studies during the Roman Empire. Ptolemy was not only an astronomer, but also a mathematician, geographer, and music theorist. He introduced ideas about the structure of the universe, the motion of planets, the mapping of the Earth, and the calculation of celestial bodies, ideas that would be used for centuries to come. Fact two, he created the Earth-centered model of the universe. According to Ptolemy, the Earth stood at the center of the universe. All other celestial bodies, the Sun, Moon, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn, revolved around it. This idea became known as the geocentric model, and for its time, it seemed perfectly logical. After all, when a person stands on Earth and looks up, it appears as if the stars, sun, and moon all move around them. But there was a problem. The movements of the planets didn't always make sense. Sometimes they seemed to move backward in the sky, a phenomenon known as retrograde motion. To explain this, Ptolemy devised a complex system called epicycles. Planets didn't just orbit Earth in large circles. They also moved in smaller circles along those paths. Using this model, Ptolemy created tables and calculations that mapped the positions of planets with remarkable accuracy. He brought structure to the cosmos, at least on paper. Yes, his model was ultimately wrong, but it was so well constructed that for nearly 1,400 years, scientists accepted it without question. Fact three, Almagest, the sky's handbook for 1,400 years. Ptolemy's most famous and influential work was called the Almagest. But this wasn't just an astronomy book. For centuries, it was the primary guide to understanding the heavens. In Almagest, Ptolemy systematically presented his geocentric model of the universe. He explained the motions of the planets, the positions of the stars, and the paths of the moon and sun using mathematical formulas and geometric models. It was one of the first scientific works to translate ancient sky observations into precise tables and calculations. The book's original Greek title was Mathematical Syntaxis. Later, Arabic scholars referred to it as Almagesti, meaning the greatest, which eventually entered Europe as Almagest. Prominent Islamic scholars such as Al-Batani, Al-Biruni, and Ibn Sina studied and expanded upon it. In medieval Europe, before Copernicus, Nearly every astronomer based their work on this book. The result? One book. One idea. One cosmic map. And a model that defined the universe for over a millennium. Almagest didn't just explain the past. It shaped the questions of the future. Fact 4. The mystery of the planets. The epicycle model. Ptolemy developed a unique and complex method to explain the motions of the five main planets. Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. Contrary to expectations, these planets sometimes appeared to move backward in the sky, a phenomenon known as retrograde motion. To explain this, Ptolemy used a model called the epicycle. In this model, planets move along a large circular path, but they also rotate on smaller circles called epicycles that lie along the larger path. In other words, the motion of the planets was like a circle within a circle which explained why they sometimes seemed to move briefly in the opposite direction. Despite the complexity of this idea, Ptolemy was able to calculate the positions of the planets with reasonable accuracy, and for many years astronomy developed based on this model. 
Although this system was later proven wrong, it is still considered one of the greatest scientific achievements of its time. Fact 5. The multi-talented genius Claudius Ptolemy was far more than just an astronomer. He was also a mathematician, a geographer, and even a music theorist. In mathematics, he advanced spherical trigonometry, which played a crucial role in calculating the positions of celestial bodies with remarkable precision. In geography, his monumental work, Geographia, presented one of the first comprehensive maps of the known world, listing the coordinates of over 8,000 cities and locations. In music, Ptolemy explored the mathematical harmony between planetary motion and musical intervals, supporting the ancient idea of the music of the spheres. He believed that celestial bodies moved according to mathematical ratios that echoed the structure of musical harmony. By weaving together different branches of knowledge, Ptolemy aimed to create a unified understanding of the cosmos. His scientific legacy stands out not just for its depth, but also for its extraordinary range. Fact 6. The scholar who watched the sky by lantern light Ptolemy lived in the second century AD, a time long before the invention of telescopes or modern scientific instruments. And yet, he observed the stars, planets, and other celestial bodies with remarkable precision using nothing but simple tools and the soft glow of lanterns. His star catalog documented 48 major constellations and star groups, a monumental achievement for his era. Incredibly, the accuracy of his catalog made it a trusted reference for astronomers for centuries. Ptolemy's observational method combined keen eyesight, basic instruments, and careful mathematical calculations to determine the positions of celestial objects. This work marked a major step in the evolution of astronomy, when human eyes and handmade devices were the only tools for exploring the cosmos. Before the telescope, it was brilliance and patience that unlocked the heavens. Fact 7. Master of predicting solar and lunar eclipses, living in the second century AD, without any modern technology, Ptolemy was astonishingly accurate at predicting solar and lunar eclipses. Using careful observations and complex mathematical models, he could calculate the time and location of eclipses long before they occurred. This was possible because he had developed a system that mathematically explained the motion of celestial bodies. In his masterpiece Almagest, Ptolemy described in detail the causes of eclipses and their astronomical trajectories. He studied the moon's orbit, the relationship between the sun and the moon, and even estimated the relative sizes and distances of Earth and the moon to forecast these celestial events. Considering the simplicity of his tools, his accuracy was nothing short of a scientific miracle. For centuries afterward, Ptolemy's eclipse calculations remained the standard reference for astronomers. Even during the Middle Ages, his methods were trusted and widely used with impressive precision. Fact 8. Saturn the mysterious giant of the sky. In Ptolemy's time, Saturn was not just a distant point of light in the night sky. It was seen as the slowest moving of the known planets, a cosmic giant that seemed to set the rhythm of the universe. Tracking Saturn's motion took many years as it moved around the Earth in the geocentric model with great slowness and complexity. For Ptolemy, this slow and peculiar movement made Saturn one of the most mysterious and challenging planets to understand. To explain its path, he relied on his epicycle within a deferent system. And even then, Saturn's strange position in the heavens remained one of the hardest to calculate precisely. In ancient mythology, Saturn was associated with time, fate, and even death, which gave its celestial presence a deep symbolic weight. To Ptolemy, Saturn represented the vastness and mystery of the cosmos itself, a silent, distant watcher whose slow orbit whispered of something far greater than the human mind could fully grasp. Fact 9. Ptolemy's model was wrong. The geocentric model created by Claudius Ptolemy, placing the Earth at the center of the universe, was accepted by the scientific world for many centuries. But over time, as more observations were made, the fundamental flaws of his system began to surface. First, Ptolemy claimed that the sun revolved around the Earth, when in fact it is the Earth that orbits the sun. This idea wasn't supported by direct evidence. It was based more on human perception than scientific proof. Second, his use of epicycles, circles within circles, 
To explain planetary motion was extremely complex and increasingly inefficient. As new observations came in, the model had to be endlessly adjusted, but it still failed to reveal the true structure of the solar system. Third, Ptolemy's system included inaccurate distances and planetary speeds. For example, the orbits and velocities he calculated didn't match the actual paths of the planets, leading to significant errors in predictions. And yet, despite these flaws, Ptolemy brought order and logic to the chaos of the sky. He collected data, built mathematical models, and documented celestial movements, laying the foundation of the scientific method. Today, we know his model was wrong. But science isn't just about getting the right answers. It's also about asking bold questions, making mistakes, and learning from them. In that sense, Ptolemy remains a true pioneer. Fact 10. The Mysterious End of Ptolemy Very little is known about the final years of Claudius Ptolemy's life. Even the exact date of his death remains uncertain. Historians believe he died around 170 AD, but there is no clear record or documentation of when or how it happened. Details about his personal life, his family, where he lived, and how he spent his final days are mostly lost to history. This veil of mystery has made Ptolemy one of the most enigmatic figures in science. What did survive, however, was his scientific legacy. His works continued to inspire scholars for centuries, guiding the search for the secrets of the universe. Perhaps, like many great minds, he spent his final days in solitude, surrounded by scrolls and star charts, still observing and calculating. After his death, Ptolemy's writings, especially Almagest and Geographia, remained foundational texts in both Europe and the Islamic world. They were copied, studied, and built upon by generations of scientists. Ptolemy's legacy was not confined to a single lifetime. His influence became a timeless bridge between ancient wonder and modern discovery. If you love exploring the hidden mysteries of the universe, please like this video, share it, and subscribe to our channel. Let's continue uncovering more secrets together.